coming up in this captain's vlog. I don't know if you can see this, but there are like tiny little, tiny little mushrooms right there. I discover fungus on my tiller. Sea fungus. More packages arrive. Look at this packaging. This is incredible. Like this little, that's what it is. And I do a battery review. These new batteries that I got are terrible and you shouldn't buy them. So I want to raise up the main uh, back here uh, so I can figure out the reefing lines because right now I've got them running from back here to right there and then down the deck and then through here so I can control them down here in the deck. But that doesn't make a whole lot of sense if you're just, if you're always going to the mast to, to adjust the, the mainsail, why not go to the mast and adjust the mainsail and the reefing points as well, the reefing lines. So the idea being if I can figure out how to run them and like winch them off to the other side, then I can get rid of all this hardware. This was all used to um, rig it up so you could single hand it from the cockpit. But again, you have to go forward to the mast to hook up the clue anyways. So you have to leave the cockpit to, to, to fiddle with the, the mast no matter what. So I think it might be better just to have a nice clean cockpit and keep the business end up on the business end. So there's a bit of wind in the marina today. Give it a whirl, see what happens. Okay, so the reefing lines are a little tight, which are preventing me from going the last little inch all the way up. I don't want to really strain it, but um. There's the issue right there. You got your reefing lines that come down, go on the boom, and then currently I have them going down to the deck and then back to the cockpit. And the idea is to like not go back to the cockpit, to just come to this other side where there already is a winch and go straight from here to there, boom. Just have a like a bag or something for excess the two reefing lines and keep them all up front and then just get rid of everything back in the deck. I don't need any of it anymore. So I think that's the plan. So my tiller needs some love. I'm going to take it down now show you what's up. So as you can see, it's just pretty dried out and Whatever varnish was on there has been cracked off and it just needs some love. So I think the best thing to do is take it off and then I can uh, take it somewhere where I can make a bigger mess and just sand the thing down. I don't think I'm gonna go varnish with it. I think I'm just gonna go with the same kind of teak oil that I'm using on everything else. Just maintain it better, you know? Maybe make a cover for it so that when it's not in use, I can slide a sun cover over the top of it, tie it up here, it'll be all covered up from the sun, because that's really what does it, is the sun. When you're sitting in the harbor like I am all the time. Pretty deep scar, I don't know what you'd call that, rot right there. It's not good. What I'll probably do there is just dig it all out and epoxy glue it back together again so there'll be an epoxy layer. 
feels pretty good down here. Watch oh, that whole layer in there is just rotted out. He's no bueno. Anyway, that's the plan anyway. Dig all that out or as much as I can and then epoxy over it and then sand it down, the whole thing. I don't know if you can see this, but there are like tiny little, tiny little mushrooms right there. Some sort of fungus, sea fungus. Lovely. Okay, I brought it to a place where I can make a bigger mess. All right, got some more packages. I guess we'll start with a small one first. All right, these are plastic bimini caps. So this is what I'm going to be using to um, help create the, um, I guess you call it a bimini, the little back rack for the solar panels on the back of the stern of the boat. I'm going to use some of these for capping the contraption I make. Probably, I'm guessing more of the same. I'm not, I'm not guessing, I know. Solar panel connector cables from Bouge RV. Um, we got some more of those plastic bimini bracket things. Look at this packaging. This is incredible. Like this little. Uh, that's what it is. Quality marine and industrial hardware. More of the same. I'm gonna need a lot of these, so I ordered a lot of them. They're not too expensive. And, uh, oh, cool, some little pad eyes. I threw in the same box, that's useful. All right, got a solar charge controller. All right, if I take it out, I'm never gonna get back in, so I'm gonna leave it in the box, but a little bit of the solar panel. Cool. See, I told you it never goes back in. Oh my god. Probably the first thing to do is to mount this somewhere in the boat and, um, you know, basically run everything, have this ready to go once the solar panels are up and functioning. But this is gonna be a big job. It's gonna take a while. Okay, so I'm back at it for another day. Uh, yesterday, I sanded all the paint off. It's looking pretty good. I also uh, jammed up all the holes and cracks and stuff with this plastic wood that you're supposed to be able to shave down and work like it's wood. Um, and I also put some epoxy in some of these other um, cracks and stuff. And so now I'm going to see what it looks like when I sand it down. I may have to do another round of uh, putty and glue. Um, but I think it's looking pretty good. I think it's going to look amazing when uh, it's all cleaned up. <clears throat> A quick review of the battery situation. These new batteries that I got are... Uh, are terrible and you shouldn't buy them it's a total scam first of all it says six amp hour battery right there um, but if you'll notice it has exactly the same footprint as a four amp hour battery um, that Ryobi sells okay so that's just a blatant lie right there they're using exactly the same size cells um, um, they're just using a generic and they just st stuck a sticker on there that says 6 amp hour battery and it's not even close. I would say that these batteries are maybe half, they last half as long as the original Ryobi batteries. So if you're trying to save a buck, don't do it. 
when you're buying batteries. It's a waste of time. So I'll use these until they die, but I'm not, I don't expect them to live very long. Um, they already, like I said, they already hold uh, less of a charge than the older um, four amp hour batteries. Um, but again, it's really easy to see. Just look at the footprint. They're exactly the same. This one, it should be rated at a four amp hour. I'm pretty sure that's probably what it's closest to. But like I said, still doesn't last as long as the original. You pay twice as much for them, but you get, you get twice as much out of it. Got a couple more packages here. Solar project related. All right, more clamps. I think maybe I'm gonna have too many of these clamps. Cable. So, oh look at that. The ends are raw. What else we got in here? House tuning. Oh, these are the... These are my the clamps. They're actually made out of aluminum. That is for the solar panels, the bottom of the solar panel, then clamp onto a one inch pipe that is going to be the frame that I'm gonna build. Four in this box, four more in this box. So you can see up here the false wood or the plastic wood, whatever it is. I just use that. All right, I filled in all these big holes and uh, cracks and stuff towards the end and just really quickly sanded it down so you can kind of see what it's gonna look like. I still have to do that and that. Um, and then down here where I glued it yesterday, the seam in which I glued it right there. And then I just sanded that bit right there. So that'll be what it looks like when it's finished. And it looks pretty good. It looks like there's glue in there. Uh, it's nice and clean looking. And uh, so I have to go back and do these guys, those creases with some epoxy as well. There's a crease right there for some epoxy. And then, so I'm gonna sand this down and then uh, set it up for another glue and then come back to it later today or tomorrow and finish it up. It's almost done. Finished up the tiller, but didn't have time to reinstall it as I was still working on the sale at the time and about to leave uh, on a trip to Canada to visit my sister. All that is coming up. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. It helps uh, so much, you have no idea. It just helps keep me going, uh, knowing that people out there are enjoying this content. So thank you again for watching.